Final two exercises of this workout. This one calls for a lying barbell uh, tricep extension. This is a variation of that. Myself, I have an elbow issue and it is not a case of wussitis like we like to extreme. It's I actually broke the elbow. So there are those circumstances when you're hurt and you cannot do the exercise written. Well, there are variations. Look for the variations and you can do these. This one, he has got a, a busted shoulder. Look at him, he's got a busted shoulder. Would you ever believe him, but he does. So, labrum. I've been with it for a year and a half. Torn labrum. It's not that torn though. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? So, he's found a way to earn some triceps doing, hitting the same muscle group that the lying tricep extension would do. And this is it. Why don't you show us how to do it, buddy? Here we go. Sort of start with my pommel facing down towards the floor. Okay. We get a more isolation. We're gonna rotate out on the way out. So I'm gonna use one foot forward, just create a little more stabilization. Yeah. Now he's turning his wrist all the way back on the way back. And even doing a pop out on the way back. I've never done this. Fun stuff. Yeah. Now this is serious stuff. We're on our very last set of the day. This is triceps. This, this is a massive piece of your arm. This make or break your arm. Biceps are kind of hard because you have to feel the inside before they really pop on the outside. Triceps, they're, they're building on the inside too, but a lot of times you can rest that tricep on your lat and pop it. So you get to see all of it by default. Biceps, it doesn't work that way. Come on. You're well beyond pretty boy arms, buddy. Come on. I once trained with a UFC fighter. This guy was badass. I'm not going to name drop. But I had a couple covers of magazines. And uh, he looked at me and said, Kimberly, come train with me. I said, nah, you know, bro, I, I train pretty hard. I mean, you're cool and all, but, you know, I, I do my thing. Well, I went and trained with him. We did some kettlebell training. We did some, some supersets, tri-sets, quad sets, three-minute sets, whatever you want to call them. Immediate to a uh, reverse grip. Yeah. Knock him out. Yeah, this is to failure. Whatever your failure is, go slow, go fast, doesn't matter. Just keep your elbow where it goes. Anyway, I show up a morning to train with this guy. He said, bro, I train pretty hard. I'm, I'm not that worried. He said, Kimberly, the difference between you and me, you can drop your hands during a set and be fine. I drop my hands, I get punched in the face. So symbolic, it hit me like a like a ton of bricks. He was right. When I get tired, I can get off the treadmill. When I get tired, I can slow down the stepper. When I get tired, I can slow down on the mountain. I'm not getting punched in the face. Who's punching me in the face? Nobody. He got punched in the face. I wrote this workout with the idea that I'm gonna get punched in my face if I don't drop it. I wrote this workout so that no matter how much you can bench, how good you look, what six pack you've got, what magazine cover you're on, how badass you are as a competitor, you do this workout enough times and you'll be able to defend yourself. That's the difference. I went through his workout and I was winded and I was out for the count in a minute and a half. I was, my heart rate was so high, I got my accountability. I knew what my heart rate monitor was. It wasn't wussing out, I was done. That embarrassed me. Got five covers at the time and I'm embarrassed. I can't even stay with this guy. Granted, he didn't look that great. I'm being real, he, he, nobody's paying him to take a picture, but he was badass and that means something too. I wanted to be badass and look the part and that's what this workout does. Pre-contest fighter training workout. You just watch what this guy put himself through. Do you want to fight him? He won't seem to drop his hands. He keeps going. 50. <laughs> 50. Nice. Yeah. Huh. My little rant was just about defending yourself. How about winning the fight? You got your kids behind you. You got your wife behind you. She's carrying a purse. One of those expensive Louboutin purses. Or whatever kind of purses these expensive chicks buy. You, you gonna let him take her purse? Not without a fight. How nice would it be going into that fight? Even if you got no skills, even if you're not Johnny Karate guy. You go in that fight knowing that if you grab his hand, he's not gonna move it. Just shaking, just holding his hand there. What? 
What are the odds he's going to walk away after that? I've been in a fight like that. I grabbed a guy's hand and it didn't move. My brain changed immediately. I went up to him like I was going to just hurt this kid. This is in high school. Good job. I'll never forget it. Come on. Like this, nonstop. Imagine you're in a fight. Do not hit yourself with the weight. I've done that. I've been tired to hit myself with the fucking weight. Come on. He knew this was his last set. Leave it in the gym. Cheating method, reverse grip. This calls for a dumbbell curl. We manipulated it with the weight because that's what we had here. Perfect, doesn't matter what you're doing it with. 